Well, I've been collecting them since, uh, well, let's say, the 30s, actually, uh, off and on. Not as a full collector, but... Uh, mm -hmm. And then, of course, uh, I got a big interest in it when my son in Vero Beach met us in Orlando at the postcard show a number of years ago. Mm -hmm. So that's when I got a bunch of them then, each year for maybe six, seven years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I enjoy them. I, I, I bought them a real reasonable, like for a quarter each. Mm -hmm. And then over the years, I, I've discovered a lot of them are pretty good, valuable, you know. Yeah. So anyway, uh, it's a hobby, and uh, nobody else that I know collects them. Really? Know? Okay. Except you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, do you know how many cards you had at one point? I've got it. Oh, well, I've had as high as over 6,000, somewhere in that neighborhood. Wow. And now I've got a maybe, oh, 4,500, something mm -hmm. like that, yeah. I haven't had time to count them. I've been so right. busy. That's right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when you go to a show like that, um, which ones attract you most? Or why do you, why would you choose certain postcards over others for your own collection? Well, first of all, I was smart enough to join some other people I knew in the 25 cent boxes. Yes. And I found a lot of them in there. Nice, you know, maybe a little wrinkle here or a mark there. But uh, that didn't bother me because if I wanted them, if they're from my hometown, you know, Pittsburgh or Florida or whatever, then uh, I was interested. And uh, I built up quite a collection of Pennsylvania and Florida and other states, of course. Yeah. Got married and had kids and everything, and then, of course, I get more interested in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, up until then, no, not too much interest. Uh, mm -hmm. Just as souvenirs or yeah. my scrapbooks. That's sure. all. Yeah. Sure. And it was really your son's interest in it that yeah. sparked your own. Right. Right. And then you would go back and find cards from certain time periods, like during yeah. World War II and different things. Exactly. Yeah. He collected uh, Vero Beach, Indian River County, and the Keys. Okay. Since he lived down in Vero, mm -hmm. he was more interested in that field. Mm -hmm. So uh, he'd find cards for me, and I'd find for him, and mm -hmm. worked out pretty good. That's great. How have you organized your collection? Um, I got so many categories. I like humor and war and girls and all. Oh, it was a multitude of things. I, yeah. Well, see, first of all, it's from Pennsylvania, so I already had a few of those from mm -hmm. years ago. You know, when I was a young man. You know, and then uh, humor. Like, uh, yeah. drunks, uh -huh. you, you know, <laughs> exaggerations, all kinds of topics, too numerous to mention. But I, uh, uh, well, I even have a section for larger cards, right. you know, still postcards, some are as big as this. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, of course, I mentioned the war cards and... Then European car, mm -hmm. Asian, worldwide, right. that I received or mm -hmm. were given to me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'll show them to you. Good. Uh, the, Good. So you say some of the more unusual cards. We've seen some of the wooden cards. We were able to get oh, some yeah, of the wooden yeah, cards. Right, There's yeah. some large cards, the hold to light cards. What are some other kinds of cards that you, maybe more unusual things that you've seen in your collecting over the years? Well, the leather cards that I ever oh, show I you. Well, yeah, I still have a few of those. Uh -huh. Uh, homemade cards and yeah. well, the, my favorites really are the are the humorous ones that I yes. can laugh at. Yeah, I've gotten rid of a lot of them, but I've kept the very funniest ones. Yeah. I never get tired of laughing at them, you know. Yeah. When nobody's around, you know, it's <laughs> <laughs> you can just sit back here and laugh and enjoy the cards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. But the, I'm surprised more people don't collect postcards, yeah. know, picture postcards, yeah. uh, because they're so interesting, you know. Because everybody's got different interests. Yeah. Uh, That's yeah. our challenge as well, yeah. to try to, we know we want them, we know they're, they're valuable, but we think they're intellectually valuable even more than they're physically valuable, but we're trying to imagine 
what people might want to do with them. And well, there's so many parts of it. I haven't even begun to talk to you about certain things, but I like the whole delights that you've seen. Yeah, those are great. They're so fascinating, yeah. you see. But nobody has time. It's computers or television or right. something. They don't have time to look at these things, yeah. see. So yeah. I'm enjoying them as what I can, you know. I'm enjoying them as well.